Hello friends, welcome to Joy of Life. This video is available in This video we are going to see an ecotourism resort called Moramart at Bolpur. Just 6 hours drive from Kolkata and just 10 km from Shantiniketan. So this is an ecotourism resort and here is the main gate where you will be welcomed at a very traditional style by the locals. It's called Boron. And this is the main gate and once you enter you have the reception on your right hand side. So you can offload all your luggages over here which will be taken to your room by the staff. Just uh, behind it there is a small fish well with a lot of fishes like goldfish, molly and all. And uh, this is a 3 acre property which consists of 13 cottages. Uh, the owner also stays over here and uh, you have a lot of farms as well as uh, we continue this video we are going to see in details. So this is the main area for your dining called Porto Bata, which means lotus leaf. You can see this is well decorated in a very traditional style with a lot of decors and antique things present inside this uh, area with lanterns, some antique idols and there are a lot of activities in this place like yoga, meditation, bird watching, organic farming you can do and just behind you have the kitchen they will serve you with the local delicacies you can order a la carte or you can order thalis as well and you can also play chess and relax with your friend and also a good place to hang out with your friend typically your day at Moram will start from this place having the breakfast the flute player will sit in this white chair mostly and he plays some beautiful music which adds uh, great value to the morning. You can sit over here with a cup of tea with your friends or family, relaxing, listening to the music, overlooking the farm in front of you and uh, uh, it has some animals as well, some small animals. As you can see I was fortunate to gain the sight of a small rabbit who came running towards me perhaps it was eating something and uh, not to be mistaken they are not outsider they are all part of the Muram family they are well taken care and as we walk down the alley you can see the place called Vanesta where you have couple of cottages you can see the decor is awesome it's not uh, just some cheap decor but well thought out, well uh, interiored just to add value to the place. And here is the hut for the little rabbit whom we just saw. So they have their own place to stay as well. At the corner you have a small store which is uh, called Day Shots. So they have a branch at Kolkata as well. So this store is mainly for the guests coming to this place and you will get some local handicrafts over here like teapots, wind chime, you have some local made pickles and achar and you have this teapots over here so all these are made by the locals so these are all dolls and idols made uh, in the Shantiniketan area by the locals you have clay pots, you have some horses, some plates and also you'll some find some dresses, some uh, stitching work as you see it looks like painting but they are like stitch, uh, stitch works mostly. You can buy it from here or you can visit uh, their branch at Kolkata somewhere in Baliganj you can find out the place and uh, you have a lot of books and other things over here. <coughs> You can browse through them in your leisure time if you are just wanted to buy a book, sit there in the nature, out there in the nature, read it and uh, feel relaxed. So these are all made locally, these are not any branded store or anything like that, these are pure handicraft store. So this is, uh, as I mentioned, this is mostly for the tourists. and. As we step out of this over here, let's see the other side of the property, what else we have. The small rabbit is still waiting for me as you see over here, a cute looking rabbit.
So we now move to the other side. So there are some cottages on the right side as well. And there are farms on left and right, both the side. And it caters to uh, the kitchen as well. So the food is used in the kitchen. So over here we have a small ranch over here where you have some cattle, some cows, some goats. So this uh, adds a lot of vibe to this place. It adds a value of a village, I would rather say. So there are a farm just behind and you can see that they are growing their own crops. So once they're harvested, it will be used in the kitchen to some extent. And as we come out of this place, we have the goshala on the side. So the animals are taken to the goshala and kept at the night. So in, during the daytime, they'll be outside. And you have a small platform over here, nicely decorated with plants, but uh, you can uh, watch out for events over here as well, like some traditional dance at night, at uh, daytime as well, with some bonfire. A really nice uh, place to feel the culture of Shantiniketan. And there is another small place to hang out, and you can see that you have the uh, grill tray over there, so you can enjoy some grill. And at the back, you can see some turkey over here and their houses as well. So each of the animals are kept in a very nice way. They are treated and you can see a dog resting there. It's uh, Nuri. There are three dogs. We are going to see them. At night over here, you can enjoy some decent folk songs with your friends while having some grilled chicken. We came during the winter. So it was uh, even more beautiful to sit out and enjoy some music. Then on the other side you have this uh, small hangout place called Khaladula which means sports. So you have a carom which you can play at daytime at night as well. It's well lit and uh, you have the badminton racket and the small uh, football as well. It's not a full size one but there is a football and uh, some badminton rackets. You can get the shuttle from them and from this tower uh, your family or friends can watch you play. So this place uh, gives a special gallery kind of feeling from where you can watch currently the swans are resting it's the winter time and they are enjoying some sunlight over here so they're just uh, sitting and relaxing you can play at night you can see that the place is well lit good enough light to play at night now let's go to the other side so here you can park your car and uh, you can also tell the gardener he's uh, more than happy to wash the car for you and keep it clean the day you are driving back so this is a tea stall we call it chai take so take in the sense it's a place where you can sit and have some chit chat with your friends and there are two more cottages behind it and uh, on both the sides you have some beautiful farm and as we continue, we come to the pond, which I felt is the most uh, beautiful place in this entire property. So you can enjoy some boat ride with your family. So it's not a very long ride. It's just a small ride just by this island. But uh, you will feel uh, really, really great because this uh, place is uh, quite disconnected from the city. So you will not hear any other sound apart from the sound of nature. And sometimes you might hear the sound of a train passing by from far and uh, mostly you'll be hearing the ducks and the swans shouting out loud as you come near them the boat also as you see is not a motorized one it's the traditional type of boat and the pond is not that big but uh, it's pretty beautiful you can see some ducks over here most of them are in the island You can take a nice walk around the island. It uh, really feels great with the birds singing, with the 
ducks swimming there are fishes also in this pond so you can do some fishing but you are not allowed to take the fish you are supposed to leave them as is on the pond so on the border also of this property on the right hand side you can see that uh, we have a lot of farms so where they're growing some uh, food and they're going to use it in the kitchen mostly right now most of them are harvested but this uh, place really feels nice there are 13 cottages and you need to call them in advance you can find the number in the description section below this is the peak time this is the winter time when we visited and uh, it was fully packed so there are some benches as well you can come here with a cup of tea you can sit and relax while watching the ducks and the swan and enjoying the sound of the nature the beautiful bird singing throughout the day and there is a small bridge over here through which you can go to the island it's a small wooden bridge the island is uh, inhabited by mostly the ducks and the swans and there is a small uh, watchtower you can go on top to hang out with your friends as well so all the animals as i mentioned was kept with lot of love lot of care so you can see over here inside some of the swans are resting so it's uh, their home so here are some bunch of ducks as well You can get on top of this tower, it's made of wood. It has a name like all the other places, it's called Shal Machon. Shal is uh, a kind of uh, tree, the wood is from the Shal tree and Machon is the uh, tower from where you can watch. So you have some cozy sitting area where you can hang out with your friends. pretty comfortable and relaxing place to sit with your friends to have a cup of coffee or a drink. The place is truly disconnected from the city. It uh, really refreshes you. It's green everywhere. There are no mechanical and other sounds that you are going to hear. It's all the sound of the nature that you are going to hear. So I just thought of staying back today, not to go out but to enjoy this property. So everybody has left for the day. So there is the Poush Mela, one of the most famous uh, Mela of Shantinikatan that is going on at the moment. So everybody went out and I thought this is the best time to enjoy this property. So here also as we enter this alley, so there are farms on both the sides but you can see that the harvesting is done it's all harvested and there are a lot of pigeons and other birds present in this place there are a lot of birds as you see on the left hand side that they are also kept nicely they are not caged actually though it might look like a cage but it's opened throughout the day for them only in the evening they will come back here to have a peaceful stay these are all white pigeons so once again we move down this place to reach the tea stall or the chai take prior to that we have two more cottages over here so these are all for your staying 
so this uh, tea stall or the chai take is somewhat different so there is nobody to make tea for you so this is the place where you should make your own tea everything is available over here for you so it's like you make your own tea and enjoy it sometimes people will be there but you can come at any point throughout the day and make your own tea hang out with your friends So you can see over here all the places have some place for the animals as well and you can see that they are pretty much in open so they are pretty used to it they will come back they enjoy the stay so this is the farm from the other side you can see that there are a lot of crops that are growing that's not ready to be harvested yet So if we move from the Goshala, so this is the place where the owner stayed. This is a wooden cottage, very nicely created. But since this is somebody's personal property, it's not good to shoot it. So I'm just keeping it for now. This is one of the work areas. So over here, you will uh, uh, are not uh, really for the guests. It's for the people who work over here. So as we came to the Poddopata or the dining area, so there is a small place for the birds. You can see that um, there are some chicks over here, some newborn chicks over here feeding and you can see a place for them for hatching their eggs. So you can see that a lot of eggs are inside. So they are also well protected and well taken care of. As we continue, we just uh, miss the other two beautiful uh, spot in this place just by the side of this fish well. Once again, we are at the fish well. It's more like a wish well. You can wish something on the well by putting a coin. So here are two other guards for the night. So this is Lisa. And this is Rashi and previously we saw Nuri. So Nuri is uh, Lisa's daughter, the youngest one. So they guard this property throughout the night. So entire night they are kept open and they take care of the property. They guard the property. And as we move along this uh, place, Potopata, we are going to see these cottages. So this is where I stayed. On the right hand side you have the place for your drivers so if you're coming with a driver if you're not self-driving you can uh, make his accommodation over here you have a compost peat over here and you have the wires to dry your clothes as well and uh, here is another small place for birds so you can see that some ducks are here as well so this place everywhere you will find some animal or the other staying in this property. So this place is Madhavilota. So this is where we stayed just by the side of the dining area. So the dining area is on the left hand side. So you can see a beautiful top of this dining area. So this is also made pretty neatly. The interior is made to blend with the entire eco resort so this room vacate was vacated just uh, minutes ago so this room is not ready but just to give you a view it has a tv the bathroom has a geyser it's a western type uh, toilets you have it has uh, pretty big rooms pretty well ventilated you have ac if you're coming during the summer so it's good enough for staying in any season The rooms are quite good for couples. So here are some sitting area as well where you have the menu. So I'll give you a quick glance of the menu. You can order food at your room as well. 
but uh, the menu is mostly bengali type of food that you are going to get all uh, all the staff are the local people so they are empowering the local people and uh, they cook really really nice so the food is really delicious and it's a uh, pretty homely i would rather say it's not like a normal hotel food which is pretty rich or oily rather it's very very nicely cooked which is pretty light and you can have it for days as well without uh, hurting your stomach and as you go up there are a couple of more cottages over here so these are the 13 cottages so you uh, exit on the other side with a round stairs at uh, the Pordobada you can enjoy some local dance from the local tribe in the evening time in the winter so yeah that's all from the Moram family do let us know in case if you have any question please feel free to write in the comment section and uh, I will try to answer all the queries so thanks once again for watching the video I hope you like the property do leave a comment so that we get to know what do you think about the property